Hi, I'm Peggy Lee and I am taking part in the Junk Journal January um, hosted by uh, at Meg Journals um, over on Instagram and here's the little printout that um, we're going by with all the prompts for 31 days so I thought I would share with you my day one and day one is called New Beginnings so what I've done so far is I have prepped my inside pages. Um, I've done two signatures of about 15 to 17 pages each um, to get me enough for the whole month of January. So uh, this is going to be kind of like a cover page. Um, so um, with that being the cover page, I'm really not putting anything much on this page. I'm going to flip it over to this page. And this is a, um, a vintage or sheet music and I just took some plain old gesso I took some just some plain old simple gesso that you can get from the store and I took a palette knife and um, a palette knife is is this and I just ran it over the sheet music so um, I, I set this aside to dry so now we're gonna work on our focal image for this and I have decided for this image for this page and it's still a little wet. I've decided I grabbed out, I'm gonna set this aside right now. I went onto my computer and found some butterflies that I really liked. I got a really pretty bright blue, and then I got this kind of like um, shabby blue that I really, really like watercolor effect butterfly, which I love both of them, so I'm torn on which one to use. So I grabbed, I made myself a tag out of a piece of scrap of paper. I grabbed some lace trims. I grabbed some old tissue paper that I had. And this one is all about, she made the most of her life. She made everything more beautiful. Um, she was a friend to all. Um, she knew there had to be freely, to be freely. Um, she had a wild imagination, um, she knew peace, that kind of verbiage all over the tissue paper. So, and then I grabbed some uh, scraps out of my fabric scrap box, and this is actually a remnant of um, cloth and um, some extra cloth to tie. So we're going to use some of those. So let's get, let's build the tag. So I'm going to take some 3-in-1 beacon glue and we're going to glue on some tissue paper. Okay? I'm just going to... You can use Mod Podge if you want. Sometimes it's just simpler just to use some glue. Now, <clears throat> with doing the 100 day... or not the 100 day, sorry. Doing the, um, the junk journal January, I've decided I want to try to keep it a little bit more simpler this year um, and do um, not do such complicated layouts. I want to try to keep it a little bit more simple. So now I'm going to flip it over and just rub that down to get a good seal. And I'm also going to rip up um, my um, tissue paper. Rip it apart. Rip it away from the the tag and if it rips off the front I'm okay with that you see how that ripped off the front I'm okay with that it adds more of a distressed look because I'm going for a distressed look anyway all right just do the best you can You can use your scissors if you don't want to rip. Now, doing it this way, I have a lot of distress all over the edges, and I absolutely positively love that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some more gesso, and I'm going to take a palette knife, any kind of palette knife you have, and I'm just going to grab some very little gesso, just very little, and I'm just going to swipe it over my tag. Just going to swipe over my tag in places. We're just adding a little bit of 
just so along the edges. Okay, that's perfect. Stick that in some water. Now normally I would I would allow the gesso to dry, but we want to keep going <laughs> with the video and I don't really want to turn my heat gun on. So we're just going to keep building. So I think I'm going to take a piece of this fabric and we're going to rip it up. Probably about that. And it's and it's linen, so it's not going to rip rip. I was hoping it was going to rip, but I'm going to fray the edges because I'm all about fraying. And I'm just testing it out. I actually want to cut off these pieces that are. Um, Pink and she uh, with pink and shears, I'm gonna cut those off because I want more of the frayed look. Okay, and I'm really fraying my piece of fabric. I like anything tattered and torn. I'm going to also ruffle it up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to lay that down right in the center of our tag. Okay. But before I want to punch the hole again, I already had already pre punched the hole. I'm going to pre punch the hole again so that um, I make sure I get it lined up right. And it's still kind of wet, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take this piece of cloth and I'm just going to glue down the center. I'm not going to glue the edges so I'm just going to take some glue and I'm just going to put a line down the center. Okay. Alright. And now we're going to plop this piece of fabric on and I don't want it to lay perfectly flat. So I'm kind of squinching it a little bit. Okay. I'm just holding on to it for just a second to let that glue set up. And um, and it's going to look like that. It's going to be pretty when we get it all done. And I'm just going to, you can use hot glue. If I was smart, I would have, I would have plugged in my hot glue gun. <laughs> But I didn't think about it. Just wait a second and it will set up. Okay. This it will it will continue to dry. Okay, so now I gotta decide on what butterfly I want to use. So this is what what our project is going to look like on our page. We have the mute music note paper with the smeared gesso. We have a handmade tag, which is three by six inches, three, three inches wide by six, six inches long, and with some really pretty um, script tissue paper with gesso and a piece of tattered linen. And we're, that's gonna go on there just like that. And so now we gotta decide which butterfly we want. Um, do we want, a bright blue butterfly which is really pretty and that's going to go in the center of that or do we want a more subdued look and with this butterfly and I'm really torn <laughs> really really torn so let me pull this up closer so you can see so there's the butterfly which this is beautiful absolutely positively beautiful with the with the muted colors and then I have the blue which is very vibrant um, and I'm really torn <laughs> but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with the shabby because I'm a shabby person now I could even do both butterflies which is a real pow actually and um, they actually look really pretty together it kind of the dark blue kind of helps with the white 
Um, but I'm not positive. I, I think I'm gonna do just the shabby. We'll save this butterfly for another page. So before we put the butterfly on, I also wanna take a piece of this um, tattered tr um, lace trim and I'm going to cut off a piece of it. I don't think I want it the same length. Let me look. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's cut this piece off. So I just have this little piece here that is so adorable. Once you figure out which way it's supposed to go. Okay. So we're going to glue that down right the center as well. I'm just tapping it on because I want lift. I want I want to be able to see the lift on my tag. So um, so there's that. So pretty. Um, and I'm just thinking. I'm I see I have some pink thread sitting here. I have a little I have a little container over here filled with thread and stuff some bling and um, a bunch of buttons and sitting on it was some pink thread. So I think I'm going to add some pink thread to the back of my um, background here. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to wind some pink twine or thread, not twine, around my hand here. And I'm just gonna do kind of like a loose, I don't know if you can see that, kind of a loose effect. And that